Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing? It is my weekly update. This is week four and I am post-op. I had my surgery on March 4th in, at Bailey Medical Center and through Bailey Bariatrics program. My surgeon was Dr. Brandon Varnell. And I am five foot four. My highest weight was 224.2. My surgery weight was 204. My current weight is 195. So I've had a 3.2 pound weight loss this week. Um, so at my total loss since I did my two week fast is about 25.2 pounds. So that's really good. Um, I think I had such a huge weight loss because I, <laughs> I did have my female cycle. So that was really good. Anyway, um, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, one thing I have found that is good for me, because I don't work in an office, I work from home, and um, sometimes, and um, it's good for me, like if I go out for the day, um, to take like a lunch bag with me. Uh, and put like all my snacks and stuff in there so I have it with me on hand so like, if you're out shopping or out doing things that you have your food with you so you're not tempted to go over here or go over there or grab something uh, just having a weak moment or you're not feeling so good and if you just have your stuff with you then you don't have to worry about it so my suggestion is to get yourself a good lunch bag that is good uh, another thing I'm doing is I'm making a schedule and trying to stay on it. This is helping me with making dinners and um, getting my kids organized and getting my house clean and getting my work done and everything I have to do uh, and also tracking my vitamins and my water and doing all that as well. So um, I'll show you a copy of my schedule as well. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know is at the Dollar Tree, they have half cup um, plastic containers for a dollar. You can get four for a dollar. I will probably include that in my gift giveaway that I give. Um, but those are really cool because um, you can put just the perfect amount of snacks in a half a cup for you. Put it in your lunch bag, maybe with a, a protein shake, um, and you're good to go. Uh, those are really very convenient and um, also anyway on Fifty Shades of Grey me and Chitanya posted a video it's like a four part video by Sassy Sally Strikes Again it I, I'm going to try to post the link below it was really one of the best uh, it was a year I think she had the RNY but it was a year after and it was like everything she learned in the first year and she's an incredible writer and blogger or whatever and she really put that well um, especially uh, the two main things that I got out of it uh, of course we have our scale which is our best friend some days and our worst enemy others right? saying that the scale of course is not defining us but rather it's more of a compass it's like a directional to show you you know if you're putting on weight that you need to go back and check hopefully you're doing your my fitness pal or something to, to track your food and um, you use the scale as a compass to know, okay, I need to pull back on that or add more here or this is a good week and I need to do that more or whatever. Um, also, she pointed out that we are on a journey. This is not, there isn't a destination like you hit your goal weight and it's, this is a life journey. So it's a process. And if we get like caught up, like if we have a stall or a weight gain or something's happening and we just totally lose our marbles, um, she encourages, it's a process and it's it's a live, vital thing that we're doing here. It's not a, a stagnant, oh my gosh, I hit the worst point of my journey and life is over. It's not. We're in a process. So I'm going to try to post that below. Such a good video. It's a four-point part video. Um, they're about 10 minutes each or a little bit longer so but it's 
it's a good it's a good blog. I, I would highly recommend it. VSG Tanya is the one that posted it. It was awesome. And if you don't have VSG Tanya on your list, you need to add her. She is a veteran VSGer and she has really good videos. I really like her. Um also, um someone else's blog that I watched. Her name is Twisky Tees VSG. Um she has posted uh, she also told about in this video about how to get your your chewable vitamins. If you're on VSG and you haven't done that yet, what you need to do to get that. So those of you that are new would probably benefit from that portion. And also, uh, there's a way to get free protein shakes, like huge amounts of them, like an entire month supply. Also some cream for your scars to uh, reduce the, the scar damage. And they also send you some other type of vitamin if your insurance covers it. So I'm going to put Twisky Tees um, blog below so you can go ahead and check out that video as well. I've also been at eating P3 snacks. I made a little video here. Hi, you guys. I just wanted to show you something really cool that I have been snacking on. It's called the, the P3 and what it basically has you can see in here this is like cheese and cashews and turkey and they come with different types of meat and nuts in them it is the perfect snack for uh, those that are on uh, have had weight loss surgery and then I also add a couple of grapes uh, to that and that does me just fine and um, but you can make your own p3 snacks when I put all of those they fit perfectly almost into a half a cup and you can add just a couple like I've been doing like the p3 snacks and a few grapes or you could do like um, maybe tofu if you didn't want to do like the lunch meat or if you don't you know you can just switch things up it's really really cool um, let's see another thing that is so weird to me is as I'm changing my my face is changing it is it's freaking me out I mean like the shape of my face and how I look every time I look in the mirror I'm like I don't know who that person is because you know you're used to saying a oh, big face and it's starting to get small and weird lumps and you know wrinkles my BP has been high. I kept thinking it would go down after I had my cycle or, but of course I'm eating some things that are kind of salty and that might be why. Hopefully my surgeon won't put me on blood pressure medication. Again, I don't want to go back on any medications, but at least my blood sugar is still doing good, so that's good. Um, also this weekend is Passover. So we're going to do a Passover in the prison. I'm going to a Passover. I'm also performing a Passover on Second Life. I'll show you some pictures of that. Second Life is something I do. It's a virtual world. It's kind of cool because they have currency and um, the U.S. dollar. Actually, there are some people that make a living on there. It, that's kind of <laughs> the lore. You know, they get people there. Um, but you have to be pretty good with land and making clothes, and there's different ways to make money on there. But it's kind of a cool little program. It's kind of like The Sims. It's like playing grown-up Barbie dolls. But anyway, I've made a lot of friends on there, and we're doing a virtual Passover on there. We almost got written up a couple of years ago in the Washington Post for it. It's pretty cool. But anyway, that is going to take my entire weekend. I'm going to be exhausted by the time I see you guys again. That's going to wear me out. So I do see my surgeon on Friday. Hopefully I'll have some good news from him. Um, oh, also, I got my nails done again. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's like, but it's like a gel nail polish, but it like never comes off. It's almost like you got false nails, but it's like the nail polish or something. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. It's been a pretty good week. I'm glad I'm not pregnant. I'm glad I started. Everything worked out great. My face is changing. I like it some days. Some days I don't. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of like, okay. You know. Anyway, so uh, I did have the weight loss this week, so I was happy about that. Um, but I know you know, you can have a great week, and then you have a bad week, and then you have a great week, so it's never, 
you know, it's a process. So hopefully you'll get a chance to watch those videos. I think they would benefit you. Anyway, you guys have a great week, and I will see you next Wednesday.